welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today i have eight dresses to share with you that are perfect for mid-size bodies if you don't really know what mid-size is it's basically women that fall between really a size 12 and a size 16 so people that aren't really petite and slim but also people that don't necessarily fall into the plus size camp um, somewhere in between is this kind of middle ground mid-size movement which is exactly where i sit i am usually a standard size 14 but i can often wear size 16 i can often wear size 12. it really depends on the fit of the outfit where the outfit's from retailers are actually really bad for unity of sizing so some places i can be a size 12 some places i am definitely a 16 sometimes that doesn't even fit so if you do enjoy this kind of more mid-size fashion content i'd love to do some more videos on it so please do let me know and i can maybe do like a bit more of a mid-size fashion segments specifically focusing on those with like mid-sized bodies and how to dress and tips and tricks and things like that that i use for my own style and own fashion because trust me it's not easy i have had countless changing room meltdowns i am always ordering things the majority of it doesn't look good it never fits so the fact that i've even got eight new dresses to show you and share with you that are perfect for the summer they're comfortable they're floaty they make me feel super super confident i honestly think you're gonna love this so let's just get straight into the dresses because i've got quite a few to show you and and i'm really really excited for you to see them because i think that there is literally something for everyone and i think that you will 100 percent find at least one dress that you love out of these so I have a real variety to show you. Most of them are gonna be more of kind of the floaty and smock styled ones, things that are really gonna flatter more of a mid-sized body. But obviously these will look just as gorgeous on smaller bodies as well. I don't know how many of them go up very far into plus size, um, but most of them are stocked between, I think most of them are stocked up to at least size 18. So hopefully you can find something that will fit and look nice. Now for me, as I say, because I struggle to find things that I love so much, that I then I really don't mind spending a little bit more if it's something that I love. Obviously I don't want to be spending like 90 pounds on a dress if I'm going to wear it once, unless if it's like a really special occasion. But if I'm just going to be wearing like a standard dress once, I don't want to be spending 90 pounds on it. And I don't really love it if I don't really feel that passionately about it. But these two dresses that I will show you first, are ones that I adore. I have literally worn them to death already. If you follow me over on Instagram, you will know how much I've worn these. You're probably sick to death of seeing them already, but I haven't shared them on my channel here yet. Even though these dresses are from Forever New, I actually bought them through ASOS, and I'm pretty sure they're still available, and obviously you get free delivery, etc. so it's actually really convenient. Forever New do have a website, and I've bought from there before, but I think you get free shipping, but you have to pay to return, so you know what it's like trying clothes on. If you don't like things, you have to pay to return, whereas with ASOS, you know that that's a safe bet. So without blabbering anymore, the first one is this absolutely beautiful pink dress so the actual base of the dress is a light pink color but then it's got all these all this floral hot pink fuchsia flowers all over it it has these little puff sleeve shoulders which i love the quality of this material is literally second to none it's a beautiful chiffon it's all thoroughly lined the stitching detailing is just gorgeous so this dress is more fitted across the front and the top and the arms do have a bit of a bloom sleeve if you like that more balloon kind of voluminous sleeve then tick this is on this dress as i say it's more fitted at the top it flares out from just above the bust which i think is super flattering especially for my body type um i would say i have like mid-size boobs but mid-size all round down eye i don't think i particularly have a huge bust but a lot of dresses that i try on tend to end up being tight around my boobs if you have a really big bust I don't think that this one is going to be great just because it's not hugely roomy around the bust area it's not really tight like some dresses are like whoa this is so so tight but because it's got a zip coming up the back it is more fitted around the waist and under the boob area and that's kind of where it ties so if you are slightly bigger busted this is going to be a little bit of a squeeze i would have thought the dress has this like panel at the top where it starts to flare out and then it really smocks out into this gorgeous free flowing fluid skirt it covers all the stomach area all the hip area really skims and floats over that but it's not too smocked where you feel like you're literally wearing 
a tent. Such a beautiful dress. The pattern is just gorgeous. The colours are beautiful. They're perfect for the summertime. The amount of wear I have already got out of this dress 100% makes it cost per wear. When I've recommended this over on my Instagram, I know so many of you have already purchased it. I've heard great, great things from you guys as well and lots of you are loving it. So I'm sure that you will love this dress too. It's just such a beauty, isn't it? Such a beauty. So the next dress is also from Forever New via ASOS and again it's such a close kind of contest between the first dress and this dress because they are both equally stunning, they're very different but they are gorgeous, they're so delicate feminine dainty just everything i love in a dress the base color of this dress is more of a creamy white color but again it's got the floral detailing across the material the sleeves again are more of a balloon kind of puffed sleeve and the neckline is very different on this one so it's more of a v open neck it does have buttons i guess more of like a shirt dress in a way it has buttons going down all the way down the front so you can tie it right up to the top and have it closed or you can wear it with a few buttons open i have only worn it with buttons open but if you were going for something say like a really smart lunch or afternoon tea somewhere it might be really nice to do all the buttons up have it as that more like sophisticated look the material on this dress is very delicate i haven't snagged it and i've worn it out lots but i have been very very cautious whilst wearing the dress getting ready in particular if there's any kind of material you know if i was ever sat on anything wooden or a bench or wicker or anything like that i'd be making sure i was really really careful we went to see chester's family and they have a dog and it was a big dog and i was actually like please do not jump up on my dress like as much as i love dogs i was really happy to pet pet the dog but I was like please do not snag my dress so if you've got a dog make sure that they're really careful with their little paws and claws that they don't they don't really easily snag this dress the bottom of the dress is beautiful as well it's got this really lovely frilled hem it's actually three tearing of a frilled hem which I think is really beautiful and unique I've not seen that usually it's just like one frill of the hem the dress itself is actually really sheer but it comes fully lined with its very own slip dress which might matches the outside of the actual dress which I think is wonderful and obviously you'd expect that for a bit of a higher price point but I think it's really impressive that it's actually the same kind of material so when you see through the dress you still see that lovely floral pattern. There is also a tie around the dress which I've only worn it with the tie done up but actually when I first tried it on I thought it looked really nice without the tie. It just depends whether you want to wear it more as like a drop hem dress and really straight on your body or if you want to kind of tie it in at the waist and cinch the waist in. This is a higher price point as well. I think this was about £90, £95 worth every single penny. I'm sure you will love this dress. I'm sure you will feel amazing in it i literally feel a million dollars when i wear this dress chester loves it he's so complimentary of me when i wear it and everyone i have had so many compliments of strangers when i've worn it out i've worn it two times out in leeds when we've been out for drinks and meals and things and i've had so many compliments um, from strangers and people and friends telling me how much they love the dress so it's definitely a winner and i am sure that you will get just as many compliments in it too it's just so beautiful and although it's a little bit of a higher price point for the high street i think it's one of those things that it's number one worth it and two cost per wear you're going to get so much wear out of this i've already worn it like four times and i've only had it like three weeks so i have worn it a lot um and i'm definitely going to wear it a lot into the future and i'm sure because of the timeless kind of design and pattern on it that it's just going to last me year on year on year so another perfect dress for mid-sized bodies because it completely skims stomach area it cinches in at the waist which is usually the slimmest part and it just makes you feel amazing so if you are a mid-sized girl looking for a beautiful dress that will literally make you feel like a princess this is the one for you. So the next couple of dresses I have to show you are the white dresses. Back to the very standard white summery dress. I feel like little black dress season is the winter and little white dress season is summer. I feel like white is sometimes seen as a bit of an intimidating colour, especially if you're a mid-sized body. So many of us stick to like blacks or darker colours because they are more forgiving in general, but 
generally speaking as a fashion rule colors like black and darker colors tend to wash people out a lot more especially in the summer when it's really warm outside and really nice weather do you really want to be wearing a black dress probably not it's going to absorb a lot of the heat and you'll feel a lot more like comfortable in lovely white dress that's very kind of season and summer appropriate so i've got some perfect ones for the mid-size body so this first one is from new look and i would describe this dress as a very kind of throw on and go dress it is a beautiful tiered smock dress you can kind of see a pattern of things that i really love it's got the square neck detailing which i'm definitely a big fan of a square neck and it's also got this lovely big bow detailing at the back which i think just gives a little something more to the dress and if you were to wear your hair up if it was really hot that day for example or you want to style your hair up you'd be able to see this big bow on the back which i think is just a lovely additional detailing it's got these short cat sleeves which i think make it that lovely kind of day dress perfect again for that throw on and go look and it's just an all-round really comfortable easy dress to wear one of them really easy dresses that you could wear with slip-on sandals slides or you could dress up a little bit more wear a block heel an espadrille something like that make it really summery you could even throw on a trainer i wear this dress quite frequently with just like my white jimmy choo trainers just throw them on a bit of a sneaker look and you're good to go perfect if you're going to say like for a picnic or a walk and it's really nice weather or anything like that if you're worried about anything like chafing just throw on some spanks or some little shorts underneath and you're really good to go I then have this white smock dress which is almost identical there are a few subtle differences but it's a very similar dress so i guess it would be for you to choose i don't think you need both but maybe if you get a huge lot of wear out of white smock dresses maybe you'd need both in your wardrobe but so this one's from chi chi london and i got this one in a size large it's very similar in the sense that it's got a square neck this is nowhere near as deep a square neck though obviously with the other one it probably comes down to a similar length to this square neck whereas this one sits a lot higher the kind of structure of the dress is very similar it's got these big kind of cap sleeve i would say that these are bigger sleeves so more voluminous and then it's got the smocked skirt the fitted top and the smocked skirt the the difference is with this smock skirt is it really does float out whereas the other one is more tiered a little bit more fitted this one it does smock out into more of a floaty smocked skirt the back detailing is very similar in the sense that there is still bows on the back so the back of the dress is more open it's got a bigger bow at the bottom and then it's got a smaller bow at the top but you've still got that similar bow detail i think again that's a really feminine style and i think a lot of places are adopting that look i think it just adds that extra little feature and detailing even though it's not much it just makes a lot of difference in having a full back of material when you've got them lovely bows the other difference with this dress that i really love is the brodery sleeves these sleeves are much more voluminous as i say they're still cap sleeves they've just got a lot more volume to them but the material on them is brodery and you've got all this like floral kind of brodery detailing in them which i think is really lovely it's just another added detail even though the dress is completely white there's just these little accent detailings that really just make the dress a little bit special and even though these are super similar they're definitely my more go-to style and they're exactly what i would recommend for mid-sized bodies that kind of more fitted at the top around the bust area a little bit on the waist and then flaring out so you're hiding that term and it just make you feel really confident and comfortable even if you're having a big meal out and about color. so i'm not quite finished with the white dresses but i'm going to bring it back to a bit of color to break up all the white otherwise you're just going to end up seeing the same dresses even though they are different but i have this beautiful dress to show you which is actually very different a really nice pop of color again if you're looking for something with a bit more color and if your color palette is a bit more dark rather than wanting to go for these really kind of neutral pastel colors then this is probably going to be a dress for you so it's got a lot of reds running through it a lot of whites and also a lot of navy so which comes up on the camera quite black but it is actually navy like spots running through it so this dress is from girl in mind but i actually bought it through silk thread i'll leave all the links in the description below so you can go and shop and browse and look to your heart's content at all these beautiful dresses that i have to show you so i wore this one out for a friend's birthday the other day again it was really well complimented loads of people loved my dress and it was super comfortable we ate pizza we drank lots we just had a really good time we weren't moving about very much 
so I wasn't able to burn any of that off and obviously you can get more and more bloated as the night goes on I certainly do and so it's really important to me that I'm going to be wearing a dress that I feel comfortable in I feel confident in that I think is still flattering and that I don't constantly need to adjust and pull down and feel self-conscious in and this was one of those dresses ticked every box and I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it I did actually buy a dress last summer that was the exact same cut and fit to this dress in a different pattern. I have actually got this dress in three different variations and I think it comes in a few others. So I'll leave them in the description below as well in case you want to look at some of the different variations of patterns. But I think that this is such a beautiful pattern. This again is a square neck dress. You're probably sick of hearing about square neck dresses. But I just think that they are really flattering fits. And a lot of these dresses that kind of tear and smock out do come with the square neck detail detailing on the top it's got the puff shoulders a bit of the balloon puffy sleeved and then it cuffs in at the wrist which if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while and you've been watching my videos you'll know how much i love a cuffed sleeve detailing i think it makes it really expensive and it's really really flattering this one this one does have a zip all the way up the back so i did size up for me i went for the size 16 in it and it fits really really well it has more of a fitted kind of bodice type thing with the square neck at the top and then again it smocks out at the bottom in this tearing which I think by now we know that I love. It's fully lined as well and the lining is really soft material so it's super comfortable to wear and then you've got this light kind of chiffon material that floats over the top. The colours and the pattern is quite bold so I do think it makes quite a statement. It's the perfect outfit to go out for drinks, to go out for dinner, something like that. I did actually wear this one, one with the trainers the other day so if you're going out for some more like relaxed drinks or the pub or something like that then throw this on with some trainers but I would 100% doll this up a little bit more with some shoes and dress it up make me feel a bit more fancy such a beautiful dress love the colors in this and again a lovely flattering cut and fit similar but slightly different to the other ones and and I love it so much it's one of those dresses that I have in quite a few different colors so back to another white dress I just think white dresses are so perfect for the summer and a dress like this is an absolute winner I have shared this again so many times over my Instagram it's actually from Boohoo which is quite rare for me I don't really find many pieces that I love from Boohoo I just think the fit of them is never good they're always way too short even if they fit me but this was kind of one of them diamond in the rough type dresses one that I found that I love and it fits me me amazingly and I have had so much wear out of this already I know that I'll have so much wear out of it it's perfect to be worn alone on its own as a beautiful white dress but it's also the perfect dress to be layered under other things so if you do follow me over on Instagram you'll have seen that I have styled this with several different blazers and I think that completely changes the look of the dress up obviously it's the same dress but you are completely changing the way that it looks with a different colored blazer whether that be a navy blazer or a light blue blazer which is kind of the ones I have used you can wear a more neutral blazer this was really affordable I think it was like around the 18 pound mark it's got a high neck which is very different to the other dresses that I've been showing you with more of a scooped neck or, or a square neck and I really do love a high neck I think that it looks really sophisticated and classy it's long sleeved it has these little cuffs again when it's interesting at the wrist area how would I describe it I guess like more of an a-line fit where it's it's kind of fitted but it skims the body and then it kind of smocks out at the bottom in into a frill hem like a single frill hem the material itself is lovely it is lined again so that's all good it's this beautiful brodery material it's completely covered in brodery which is definitely a favorite material of mine i think it just looks so gorgeous so the whole dress is like this big floral brodery material I guess slightly fit and flare style to the dress just makes it really flattering for the more mid-sized bodies like mine. Girls, we don't have to settle for anything less than beautiful dresses just because we have slightly bigger bodies than the typical beauty conformity size A body. Um, even if you have a little bit of a bigger body, you can still dress however you want. You've just got to find the right pieces and I'm definitely here to try and help you with that. 
So back to a bit of colour. But this is a very bright dress. It's actually probably one of the brightest dresses I own. This again is from Girl In Mind. And Girl In Mind is definitely a brand that you should check out if you haven't already. They have some really lovely things. But this one is a very bright dress, which I definitely think you could get away with wearing here in the UK. But this would just be perfect for a summer holiday wouldn't it this would just be so beautiful in like a really hot beachy location not that i particularly like the beach but tropical hot summer vibe i think that this dress ticks all those boxes but additionally if you did just want to wear this out on a night out with some heels or day drinks or something like that i think it would look gorgeous you would really add a pop of color to the environment i'm sure and it would just make you super super summery so so it's a different dress to the other girl in mind dresses it's a different kind of fit and cut of dress so firstly the neckline that is a v-neck rather than a square neck the material is also very similar it's like chiffon material and the sleeves are almost identical with the puff puff shoulder and then the balloon sleeve out and then the cuff at the wrist area it's got these gorgeous blue flowers kind of printed onto the chiffon material i guess the dress is more kind of a fit and flare a-line style of dress it has these beautiful frill detailing across the dress as well just to add a little something to it and then it's got the little frill at the end as well the dress again is fully lined with a really comfy soft material and then the overskirt is more of a sheer material this chiffon material and that just kind of sits over the top of the lining well, it has a zip all the way up the back again so i did size up i went for the size 16 such a lovely dress definitely definitely recommend this and if you want a bit of a pop of blue in your wardrobe and a bit of brightness or if you're going on holiday and you're looking for some holiday dresses then i think this is definitely going to be the perfect dress and then the final dress I have to show you, dress number eight, is from And Other Stories. And I was wearing this in my recent misguided haul. If you watched that, you'll have seen this one on already. Um, this one, again, is another white dress. It's a beautiful, beautiful quality, like And Other Stories always is. I do find And Other Stories to be a little bit temperamental with the sizing. Some dresses... I get in, I get one size all round and some dresses just nowhere near fit me and some dresses are really oversized and big so I do find the sizing a little bit tricky on there but this is a really gorgeous white dress it's slightly longer in length I wouldn't say it's classed as a midi dress but I would say it comes to just above the knee on me so maybe maybe like knee length just above the knee length so if you like a little bit of a longer dress then this one is probably going to be great for you so this again has more of a high neck and it's got this lovely little frill neck actually which is a really nice detail i would describe this dress as more of like a victorian-esque style dress it's more of that like victorian look to it again the arms are quite big the sleeves are quite big on it but they have these gorgeous little panels of broidery detailing a little bit of ma extra material detailing on the sleeves there's just so many beautiful details stitching things that just although they're all white dresses they look completely different this dress is very fitted on the top again this is one of those dresses if you have a bigger bust you're definitely going to need to size up or maybe this isn't going to be the dress for you if you're kind of mid bust a little bit smaller bust you'll be fine kind of true to size it has more of a fitted top panel and then it really smocks out at the bottom into this beautiful skirt there's plenty of room this dress isn't actually lined but the material is really thick cotton on it so it is okay it's not sheer you're not going to be seeing too much through it i'm pretty sure this is currently in the sale at the moment so definitely worth checking out even though i'm probably showing you like four white dresses here they are all different and they are all just as worthy of a spot in my wardrobe so hopefully you like at least one of those white dresses and there's going to be a new white dress added to your wardrobe very soon are a mid-sized girl i'm sure you will love them and they will make you feel really confident and comfortable so they are the eight dresses perfect for summer and perfect for mid-sized bodies that i wanted to show you as i said at the beginning i really hope that you're going to find a dress that you love in there and if not that you found kind of different styles that might work some buzzwords you can search on different websites that you love that will help you find dresses perfect for a mid-sized body perfect if you're somewhere between a size 12 and 16 and sit in the middle where you really don't know what to wear or maybe you've gained a little bit of weight as i say and you just really don't know how to dress and feel confident and comfortable especially when it's warm outside and it's really quite tricky to find something that you feel really comfortable and flow 
pretty cool and easy to wear. If you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more kind of fashion content, mid-size content, please do give this video a huge thumbs up and also leave me a comment. Leave me a comment of what you would like help with, if you've got any kind of fashion dilemmas, if there's anything you would like to see specifically. Also please do hit that subscribe button. I upload every Monday and Thursday. I do all things fashion, hair, beauty and a little bit of lifestyle and travel and hopefully when the world reopens a little bit more we'll be able to explore different places together. But yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. See you soon!